Hi everybody, welcome back to Exploration Art Journaling. This is week five, so starting off as always with gessoing. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to have a look through some magazines for images of people and um, this is inspired by Dina Wakeley she uses a lot of silhouettes in her um, art journaling um, so I'm gonna have a look through uh, I think I've got a catalog somewhere so it'll be perfect for finding a person so while this is drying I'm going to have a quick look for that and cut a figure out so one of Dina Wakeley's um, styles uh, is she likes to leave what she calls white space or breathing space on a page rather than fill it up completely. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I normally like to cover my whole page um, and I lean a lot towards repeat patterns. So we'll see how I get on. Okay, that's more or less dry now. I'm going to start with some dilution spray. Um, to be honest, I think it's probably better to use acrylic inks or, um, you know, not water-soluble paints um, for layering uh, because this is going to lift off or run when I apply layers. But it's what I have to hand, so I'll work around it. Whatever happens, happens. So I'm just going to spray a bit here and there. Okay, I'm going to dry that and move on to the next stage. Right, so now I'm going to put on a bit of stenciling. Um, this one's by Eye Stencils. It's a really good one. Um, Where should I put it? Here, I think. Here? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use a bit of gesso and this makeup sponge and lightly dab it through the stencil. And what will happen is it will probably lift and mix a bit with the yellow dilution spray and basically create a tinted white. Uh, so just a lighter yellow. It's a bit like snake skin. Right, so leave that to dry now. Right, I cut this out of a catalogue and I'm going to spray over it. What you'll find is um, it will buckle really quickly so you've just got to be as quick as you can with spraying, not, not hang around. Uh, otherwise it will buckle, not be resting against the paper and then you'll lose your outline. Um, I've just seen I've missed a little bit there so I'm just going to cut that out and then I will put it down on the page and spray as quickly as I can. Okay, I'm going to use turquoise dilution spray as quickly as I can. Uh, I did think that maybe if you laminate one of these before you cut them out then it would be a bit more resilient. I don't know if that would work but worth a try. Um, I did think as well I could cut her in half and do her in two halves so that if she buckles too much I could do it in stages. Anyway, let's stop waffling and just get on with it see what happens. That's not too bad, she's not buckling that much. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of sketching around the outline to give it a bit more definition and if I really want to I might add in some paint. Um, see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, that's a bit better. It looks a bit more like she's emerging out of something. A little bit abstract. So, um, okay, now for a bit of a landscape behind her. Um, and I'm just going to go for something horizontal that sort of narrows down a bit, builds up behind her. So, what am I going to use? Okay, I've got some blue tissue paper and I'm going to stamp it with some of these lovely Stampers Anonymous art themed, art student themed stamps and uh, um, which one is this one I think. Okay, so I'm going to tear these out, and the idea is that they'll look a bit like buildings in the distance, like high rises or you know, like a built up city. Um, so I'm going to tear some of these out, and I will stick it down with matte medium, which will make the dilution zinc run immediately. So um, be prepared for that. Right, my camera's quite low on uh, energy at the moment so I need to work quite quickly. So I've got a bit of matte medium. I did a little bit more stenciling while the camera was recharging and um, so now I'm ready to stick in some of these pieces uh, to form a sort of landscape behind her. So I want the horizon of it to be sort of a third of the way down the picture and I'm going to try not to move move the ink around too much. Okay, I want to add a few more little strips along here just to make it a bit more abstract. So I'm going to get some pieces of card and do that. bit of art journaling here with my um, waterproof pen and I'm going to use the white one as well but I've noticed that white on the um, dilution zinc often fades into it as it dries so I know this bit's got some um, matte medium on it so I'll, I'll try and do it here. Okay, I did think of maybe incorporating these somewhere because I quite like them. I got these from Ikea. And I know things should be in threes, but I don't think there's enough space. Uh, I don't know. I'll have a think about that. And um, I do like them though. They're nice and bold. I think I'm just going to have two, and it's going to be on the theme of nine to five and breaking away from it, leaving it behind, and entering into a bold, brave new world full of possibilities and adventure. Um, before I just wrap it up, I'm going to stick those down, but I'm going to stamp this. It says, enjoy life, and then I'm done. So see you again next week for um, week six.